Howdy, I'm Angel. And I'm Adam. I'm Hannah. I'm Mackenzie. Howdy, I'm Raven. And today we will be talking about the overfishing and exploitation of flounder and why we should strive to protect them in our ecosystem. Hey, you want to go fishing today? Uh, I mean, sure, but I'm not a big fisher. I mean, it's a good thing you have the opportunity to learn from the absolute best. I love watching them as life flees from their eyes. Uh, you mean you don't release them? No. Did you know that the reason for the founder population dropping is due to fishing mortality? Oh. Yeah, ever since they were labeled game fish in the 1980s, their numbers have dropped tremendously. Okay, blah, blah, blah. What does this have to do with me? Flounders are very important factors in our coastal ecosystems. A better ecosystem means Better fishing. Yes. <laughs> um, ma'am, excuse me. Can I ask you a question real quick? Do you know anything about Southern Flounder? No, I don't, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me? Do you know anything about Southern Flounder? Southern Flounder? Mm -hmm. No. Other than they're migratory, no. Oh! Okay, now for our next victim. Ah, her! Ma'am! 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 I'm so sorry to have your time, but do you know anything about Southern Flounder? Yeah, I actually do. Okay, so the daily bag limit of Flounder in the state of Texas is five per person. But anything more than that is considered poaching. And that is a big no-no to the fish popo. -po. Game wardens. Ah, oh, shoot! Okay. Oh, sir, do you know anything about Southern Flounder, perhaps? In 2015, they had the most economic contribution of $1.2 million. Oh, that's a lot of money. Of all the game fish. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Rose mystical. But anyway, sir, like I was saying, do you have any facts about Southern Flounder? I do, actually. Flounder populations can serve as indicators of the bay's overall health. Changes in flounder abundance and distribution may signal broader ecological shifts, providing valuable information for monitoring and managing the bay's ecosystem. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, ma'am, do you know anything about Southern Flounder? Southern Flounder is a species of large-toothed flounder native to the east coast of the U.S. and the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, and it's a popular sport. And is the largest, most commercially valuable flounder in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm good? Ah, oh, thank you. We're on Shell Beach right next to T Dog. We got a flounder at the end of our line. What I'm gonna show y'all is how to catch and release flounder. And so, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, he was barely hooked on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take the hook out of his mouth. And normally, I would like to keep a flounder like this. It's above the limit, it's above uh, 14, 15 inches, I believe. But since uh, we are in a season where we cannot catch them, it's from um, November all the way to December 15th. I'm gonna have to throw this flounder back. But what a lot of people don't do is that exactly. They, they don't like to put the flounder back after they catch it. What we're doing right now is we're catching and releasing. And this is a good way to make sure we keep our flounder populations thriving for the next generations to come. We're gonna go ahead and release them into the water. He's gonna swim away. Just like that, he's gone. I hope you have a deeper understanding of flounder conservation and why it's important to be taking active steps to promote your local population. Kick him! Kick him! Bro, Evan, how are you still waiting on the kick him? I'm not fool. Uh, do you know anything about southern flounder perhaps? No. Thank you. In 2015, 
2015, 